So I've got Bailey on a school day today again. Uh, it's coming on really well. The, uh, the dog walkers commented that uh, he's much, much better. And uh, it basically he's, uh, he's is he 10 months old now, he's 11 months old. And uh, he's big, he's a big dog. So he's got all that young puppy exuberance um, in a huge body. So uh, yeah, he's jumping up, that's calming down because obviously when he's this big and he's jumping up, he kind of knocks you off balance a little bit. So that's calming down, we'll get on top of that. And uh, basically it is normal puppy behavior, but because he is such a big dog and he's now so strong, um, it's hard now to, to sort of rein it all back in. And that's what we're doing. Um, so the socialization part, yep, again, perfectly normal. He's seen lots of other dogs, very excited, wants to go and play with them and doesn't want to come back to you. And this is when you have to try and be a little bit more interesting than, uh, you know, than, than what they want to be with, which is the other dogs at the moment. So the way to do that is to randomly change direction. Don't be predictable. Um, go to as many different places as possible. Keep it varied. Keep the uh, the scenery different. Keep all the different smells and the sights and sounds. Keep it all as varied as possible. It makes you interesting. They're going to want to stay with you because you take the wonderful places. Okay, so you've got to play with the mind a little bit. And uh, yeah, Bailey's coming on really, really well. They're doing everything um, you know that I've advised them to do. And as you can see at the moment, I've got Roscoe and uh, Aqua Barney with me today. So uh, Roscoe, he, he'll play, um, but he won't jump about and bite and be completely over the top in the puppy fashion. So he will teach um, dogs very often. He'll pick up a stick and teach them how to play. So he can teach Bailey how to play without it being sort of full on mouthing and, and you know, that, that crazy sort of puppy play that they do. And, uh, and then obviously we've got Barney, he's a collie. And uh, yeah, he'll play, he'll, well, they've had a play in the water around um, Albert Village. They've had a great time in the water around there because both Bailey and Barney love water. So <laughs> they've been in there together, had a great time running about and playing. But again, Barney uh, doesn't do the uh, jumping on top of other dogs and biting and that's not how he plays either. So they're both teaching Bailey how to play. And as you can see here, I've got Bailey on a lead because what Bailey sometimes does is throws a hissy fit <laughs> when he doesn't get his own way. And with him being a big dog, he jumps up, he spins around and he does a lot of mouthing uh, to the point of biting. Not, not bad enough to sort of, you know, deliberately break the skin, but he's a strong dog. So it's, uh, it's something to, to work on with that. When he doesn't get his own way, he sometimes has these, uh, these little tantrums and uh, it's, it's trying to sort of get through them. So the best advice I can give you for those moments is when he does start to behave like that, as much as you can, get the lead really high up because the communication you want to give them is an upwards pull, not backwards. It's got to be, he sits down straight away, is the upwards pull and your hand is up then, you know, sort of out, out of the way and just try and keep walking as much as possible. Try and just keep a steady, steady pace. Don't walk fast, keep it slow, controlled. When you're walking with them on the lead, it's a good idea to change the pace that you walk as well. Keep that very, very varied. So one minute you walk fast, then you walk slow. If you find your dog is pulling quite a lot on the lead, slow your walk down, slow it right down. This way. And, uh, Play with the pace but definitely keep your walk really slow you know the more they pull the more you give them these jerky checks on the lead look upwards jerky checks slow your walk down and then get them back listening to you again okay throw in random stops just for no reason okay and when we do that i like to give these upwards little tugs on the lead and what i'm looking for is him to sit down when he sits down have his own choice that's telling me that his mind is in a submissive state. I'm not telling him to sit. I'm not commanding him to, uh, to put his head in a certain way, you know. Um, I'm just working with him and getting him to work with me through body language, which works far more effectively um, with dogs than, uh, than speaking than vocal commands because he very often uh, can put the wrong energy into your voice when you're talking to them. So. And um, that's what happens there. So he's been really, really good. 
as you can see. So I'm just going to give him those upwards checks again. Because I want him, there you go, I want him to sit down. So although I've loosened the lead, I'm not taking it straight off. Okay. So I'm not holding it, but he doesn't know that. I took the lead off and then off he goes. Okay. So his recall is absolutely fine. I've, you know, I've got no problems with that. The only thing is it's not immediate. It's not instant. When he sees another dog, he wants to go and say hi. Um, you're going to get that. You're not going to stop that. I always say it's what they do when they actually get there that matters. And as long as they're respectful when they get to the other dog, as long as they give the other dog enough space to communicate so the other dog can let them know if they want to be friends, if they want to sniff, if they want to have a little run about together. As long as your dog is giving the other dog a chance to express what they're thinking and what they want, that's fine. If your dog gets to the other dog and promptly jumps on top of them and bites them, that's not a good thing. So <laughs> that's what we're working on with Bailey. He's not that full on. He just wants to greet every other dog he sees and his strength is incredible. Uh, he's, he's, a, he's a real big strong lad. What are you doing, Ross? This way, boys. <laughs> he just stands there. Oh, they're there. <laughs> so they've gone up the bank and down. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to carry on doing this. Um, what we've been doing with, with Bailey this morning. Um, I did meet um, an elderly couple with her little Labradoodle on uh, well, a labradoodle or a cockapoo i'm not sure which on a on a lead um and they they were quite uh uncomfortable this old couple and the lady as i got close she actually said oh i don't even i don't even like dogs i don't know why i'm here i was like oh crikey this could be good then um the gentleman he had a walking stick with him so he's swinging his stick around at these dogs to make sure they don't come anywhere near his dog his dog looked completely bemused with the whole thing and uh yeah it's a shame. It really is a shame. All I can do in that situation is just keep my mouth shut and walk by. There's nothing I can do and uh, I'm not going to stop my dogs from socialising and learning when they've got no issues, you know. There's no issues with these dogs. They're respectful, they are learning the language and I'm not going to quickly get them all on a lead just because somebody's panicking because they don't like dogs. Um, there's plenty of places you can walk if you don't like dogs. So that, that was this morning. But the point of that is although the gentleman had his walking stick and, uh, and there's no way the dogs were going to get near his dog, Bailey didn't actually offer to go to the dog anyway. You know, he, he kind of picked up on the whole atmosphere of, uh, of this meet and greet and just gave it a wide berth, just walked around. Um, he looks a little bit bemused himself, to be honest. So. Uh, since then we uh, we met a black labrador that was very very nervous and uh, that was on a lead and uh, yeah she's a lovely lady with this dog really lovely lady but the dog was just very very nervous so um, she relaxed enough with these three and they all sort of had a sniff of each other and you know the lady was quite pleased with that so uh, so yeah not only is Bailey learning lots but he's also helping other people and uh, yeah and we've carried on on the walk so um, he's met uh, a few other little um, sort of Jack Russell types, crossbreeds. Um, they were, they were all off lead. They were fine. Just, just you know, taking their steady little walk and uh, doing their own thing. A little bit grumbly. So again, that's great. He just gave them a wide berth. He acknowledged that they didn't want to socialise and kept on walking. So he's doing really, really well. This way, just change direction again. So I'm going to carry on with this. <laughs> Going on there. This way. I'm going to carry on with this work today and uh, carry on with a little bit of lead work later. Boys, this way. Oh, there's a lady up there. That's why they're up there. <laughs> Just head up this path this way and uh, I'll catch up with you all later. Here they come. <laughs> okay. And there's the lady. <laughs> right, see you later.